Hi, my name is Chris Smith, and in this video, I'll walk you through how to build a simple front-end app on top of your Google Sheets data. And more specifically, we're gonna build an email manager which will take contact lists out of Google Sheets and allow you to quickly send out emails to different people on that list. So, check it out. So let's start with a really high level view of this project. We've got a Google Sheet filled with mock data. This is generated names, emails, segments, whether they've been emailed or not, etc. And all of this was generated with the mock data generator on the retool site. So from there we will create a resource which then allows us to pull in all of this Google Sheet data into our retool app. From there, then we can start adding additional functionality for modifying those rows in our Google Sheet and taking action on them like sending an email. And so on this right hand side here, you see that we have a section for sending this email, which can allow you to modify the body of the email, the subject line, and choose from different templates. And these will be tied in with this send email button so that when the send email button is clicked, it will uh, link to our SMTP connector connected to your Gmail account. And so at a high level, we'll have a really simple email blaster, email manager tool, and we're gonna build all of this in 10 minutes. Okay, let's get started. From the retool home screen, choose create new and create a new blank app. We'll give it a name and call it the email manager and select create. And from here, we're taken into the Retool Builder. Uh, we can see on the right-hand side a bunch of UI components that we can drag and drop to start laying out our user interface. And on the bottom, we have a set of queries which we can go and reference to different resources we have set up in the account. So for us, this will be Google Sheets and SMTP in a moment. So to start, let's just lay out our user interface. So we'll Drag in a text component and use Markdown to set the size, we'll say, uh, my email manager. And next we want a table to view our Google Sheets data in. And we also want a container which will allow us to put our email information in. So let's just resize these give this container a name and we know that we're eventually going to want a button to send emails with we'll say send email and we need some inputs for the to field and let's just make that a little bigger I'm gonna copy it and Let's just give it a subject line. And um, let's see. Let's also oops, create one for our body. It's actually probably better to use the text area here, so I'll just choose that. And set the max lines to say six. And let's use this instead. Um, body. Okay, delete the old one. Okay, so now we have our email section and um, just as a proof of concept, we can also drop in a selector here. Say you wanted to choose from multiple different templates, um, you could uh, choose from this dropdown. Okay. Okay, so we have our email section open, we have our button, we have a little table with no data in it yet. So let's get our data into the front end app. To do this, we'll open the bottom panel and we need to create a query. So we already have one here. Let's just call this uh, list sheets contacts. And this is just a default query, but I need to choose uh, my Google Sheets account. So I can choose that here. If it doesn't exist for you, you can go up to create a new resource here and this will take you to the resource creation screen. And then you can choose to create your resource from the Google Sheets connector 
and give it a name and when you do this it'll use OAuth to log into your Google Sheets account and you can just authorize uh, Retool to access your sheets. So going back here, let's uh, just choose my G Sheets account and we'll just save this. And I didn't select a spreadsheet here, so let's just choose uh, email list demo, which uh, is this sheet, which we saw earlier. So choose that and let's just preview it. And when you click the preview button, you'll see a little sample of the data here. So it looks like that's working. So let's just go up to our table. We'll select the table. And on the right hand side here, we can um, choose the input for this table. So I'm going to do curly braces, list, sheets, contacts. And so this is the name of my query. I take the name of the query, dot data. And um, let's see here. So I need to save and run it. Okay, now it's populating. So this list sheets contacts.data then references all of the data that came back from our Google Sheets. And I can see the data here in my table. So great success. Um, so let's just change this table to be a little bit more compact, a little easier to view. And great. Okay, so we can tab through and see all the data from that sheet. Now we want to start referencing some of the data from this table in our email. So let's just go ahead and grab the to field here and we'll set the default value using curly braces to the table1.selectrow.data and we're gonna reference the email address. And so you can see now, as I click around here, the to field is populated with the email from my table. So next, let's just give it a subject line, my sample email, and we're not going to do with the, team, the template right now, and we'll just say hello in the email body, um, and actually let's just type up a template here. So let's say hi, and then we're going to dynamically reference the name from the table. So we'll say uh, table1.selectrow.data.name, and you can see in the body field now we have the name of that person. Okay, so hi, this is a test email. Thanks, Chris. Okay, so now what we want to happen is as we're scrolling through and choosing whichever person we want to email, we want to be able to send them an email using this button. So. To do that, we need to link our button to our email account, uh, which we don't have set up yet. So we'll go back to our query field and let's go ahead and create a new resource query. And this one will say send email. And uh, to do this, I'm gonna reference my SMTP um, connector here, which is, I just named it Gmail. And if you need to create this, again, you can go to create new resource and go back to that resource page. Uh, pro tip is to hit Command K if you're on Mac, and this will open up the Omni box, and you can type in uh, resources here and go back to that resource page, click Create New, and then choose SMTP. For Gmail, these are always gonna be the same. I think it's smtp.gmail.com. You give it a name, put in your login information, and I'll just show you. So once you have that information in, you can test the connection. And then this allows Retool to send emails on your behalf. Okay, so let's go back to our email manager app. So, so now we can see I'm still able to go around and update this email dynamically. But the next thing I wanna do is go in and uh, link it to actually send an email. So let's reset our default value for our subject. Uh, my test email and from here we'll go down to our query and we'll choose the Gmail SMTP and let's go ahead and save this and we'll just put in my email that I want it to come from and for the two emails we're going to reference the value that's in this field so we'll do curly braces and then text input one dot value Okay, and we can see that's referencing this 
the Cantwell value. Okay. And the subject, let's reference our text input to that value. Okay. And for the body, we'll do the same thing. We'll reference text area one dot value. We also want to have a success notification come up. So when this email is sent, we want to notify the user on the front end that the email has indeed sent so that you're not sending duplicates. So to do this, we'll just say, go to the response section and set up a query success message that says sent email. Okay, so we'll save that and let's run a test sending it to me. Okay, and that didn't work. And it didn't work because we need to link this button to the Gmail SMTP resource and this query called send email. So what I'm going to do is reference the event handler for on click. So when the button is clicked, trigger the query, the send email query. And we probably don't want to say if you double click this, you don't want to send two emails. So let's just set a debounce for say a thousand milliseconds. So basically you have to wait one second before you click send email again. Okay, so let's test this out. You can see this query is running. It says sent email. And if I go back to my email now, I can see that I have a test email from my retool app. So bravo, I can see the writing on the wall now. I can go through this list of people, I could quickly send an email, I could modify things as they go. So let's look at one or two more small things we can do to modify this. So in our table, we have a column called segment. So you might want to modify this email based on which segment the user is in. So let's just add in a little section of code just to show how you can write inline JavaScript here to create a dynamic message. To do this, let's say if the segment value is business, then we'll add a little section of text. So let's say uh, if table one dot selected row dot data dot segment is equal to business, and we'll use the ternary operator here and say if it is, then say um, welcome to the business plan. Check out our pricing here. Dot dot dot. And if they're not on the business plan or in the business segment, we'll just uh, say thanks for um, using our free product. Okay, so now we can go and see that, okay, this segment uh, is business and we see that there's a specific message here saying welcome to the business plan. If we go to the personal one, we can see that it says thanks for using our free product. So that should give you a really high level view of how you can really quickly connect to a Google Sheet and uh, build an email sender app on top of that. Um, beyond this, uh, if you wanted to get more complex, you could start to build out uh, different email templates. If you wanted to, you could change different colors of this app. If the person's already been emailed, maybe you want to give an alert. You can also create a new query here that would say allow you to, let's see, let's just duplicate this one actually, and say I want to update row and instead of reading data from the spreadsheet, you might want to update the specific row and modify some specific value saying hey this person has been emailed now. Uh, you could do that as well. So this, I hope, is a really good starting point for you to use Google Sheets, Gmail, and Retool to build an app that can help you with whatever process you're working on. If you have any questions here, feel free to drop them in the comments uh, or shoot me an email at chris.smith at retool.com. And I hope this was valuable for you.